Taking a look at today's energy markets, let's look at natural gas futures as they're experiencing some further selling pressure today. Natural gas futures lower for a second session, and today's price action has the futures market down about 2% currently, right around the 2 spot 935 level. Now, intraday, intraday low of 2 spot 867, so breaching that 290 level intraday. And that is the lowest level going back to early spring for the January contract. On a front month basis, uh, we're basically seeing uh, levels at this 293, 294 level going to two month lows here in today's price action. And when you look at some of the driving factors, uh, it does appear that it's uh, production and inventory related. Uh, as you did, get, we did get some news uh, over the last couple of sessions uh, regarding the extraction period kicking in. Uh, maybe a little sooner, a week or two sooner than what was expected, but nonetheless, even with the recent extraction, um, when you look at it from a historical perspective, still less than what was expected. Also, inventory still continuing to hold well above their five-year historical average when you take a look at natural gas inventory data. And uh, so I think those factors are having a significant impact uh, in the pricing structure as to why natural gas continues to experience further downside. And looking at general trends within the futures market, uh, with this price action, from a lead month standpoint, the futures market trading back below this three level, three dollar level, I should say, and now breaching it and further moving lower today, is uh, something that a lot of market participants are keeping an eye on. And when you look at the futures curve now, as we do uh, see January kind of rolling off and moving into the other months into this next year. Uh, really, the low month on the futures curve is right around April now, and so we continue to see backwardation into April, and then uh, then some of the contango or uh, higher price action uh, kicks back in moving into the summer months. But uh, the expectations, at least short term, are that inventories are oversupplied, and even with the extraction period starting to initiate, uh, that uh, it's not going to have a significant impact on those inventories and continuing to maintain some downward price pressure in the futures market.